The UiPath RPA platform comprises three major components, Studio, Orchestrator, and Robot. The Studio lets you design and create automation workflows in a visual manner using simple drag and drop activities or the built-in recorder. If you are from a development background, you can compare this to an IDE just like Visual Studio. The Robot is a software that is installed on a computer and executes the workflows that were created in Studio. The Orchestrator is a server application to control, manage, and monitor the robot centrally. It can be accessed via a web browser. The Orchestrator has several functionalities such as scheduling the robot, distributing the workflows and packages to the robot centrally, monitoring robots and jobs, provisioning the licenses for robots and studios, managing the application credentials to be used by the robots, and so on. We'll be discussing all these features and functionalities in this training course. The Studio comes in three different profiles, Studio, Studio X, and Studio Pro. Studio is the most commonly used profile and it is built specifically for developers. Studio X is aimed at business users and offers seamless integration with Microsoft Office applications so that business users with absolutely no programming experience can automate their day-to-day -day repetitive tasks. It is a no-code development tool unlike Studio where you can do some level of coding if required. Finally, Studio Pro, which is also targeted at developers, is an extended version of Studio that offers test automation capabilities for application testing, RPA testing, mobile testing, and API testing. Similarly, there are two types of robots, attended and unattended. An attended robot is usually installed on the user's machine and triggered by the user. You can think of it as your personal assistant that works alongside you. For example, let's say you are a call center agent for a broadband company, and if a customer calls you to inform that he or she is moving into a new house, you may want to do a sequence of activities like updating the new address, scheduling a technician, dispatching a new modem, and finally sending a confirmation email. Now, most of the time, these activities are done on different applications and are time-consuming. So, you can create an automation workflow and provision an attended robot on the agent's desktop so that they can trigger this workflow whenever they want. On the other hand, unattended robots are usually installed on virtual machines and run automatically at scheduled intervals or through other triggers such as an API call. These are useful for any process that needs to run at fixed schedules or based on certain triggers such as when an email arrives to a mailbox or when a file is uploaded to a shared drive or SharePoint. The orchestrator also comes in two versions, on-premise and automation cloud. With the on-premise version, you can install the orchestrator wherever you like. It could be a server that is running your data center or any cloud platform like Azure, AWS or Google Cloud. The Automation Cloud version is UiPath's cloud-based software as a service, which is basically an orchestrator host by UiPath in their own cloud. The biggest advantage of Automation Cloud version is that you don't have to worry about the infrastructure. Just sign up and start using it immediately. So in a nutshell, UiPath is a client-server architecture application where the orchestrator is a server and the studio and robot are clients. UiPath comes in two editions, an Enterprise Edition and a Community Edition. Both the editions have Studio, Robot, and Orchestrator. The Robot and Studio are functionally the same with both the editions. However, there are few differences when it comes to the Orchestrator. The biggest difference is that the on-premise version of Orchestrator is available only with the Enterprise Edition. That means if you go for the Enterprise Edition, you can choose to have your Orchestrator either as on-premise or cloud version. However, with the Community Edition, you get only the cloud version. There are a few other features that come with the Enterprise Edition, such as support for multiple tenants, unlimited number of studios and robots, and ticket-based support. Now, when it comes to Community Edition, it is available for free with some conditions, which you can find in this link, www.uipath.com slash legal slash terms of use. And if I go to this section, Specific Terms for Community, it says, individuals and small teams may use the products for their internal business purposes, while large teams may use the products only to test and evaluate their suitability and for non-profit purposes, which are basically education, hackathon, research and trainings. Now, a small team, according to UiPath's terms, is any organization that together with its affiliates collectively have less than 250 physical or virtual machines or users and less than the equivalent of US $5 million in annual revenue. Now, these are the terms at the time of making this recording, but it may change any time. So I always recommend you to check the latest terms from here. 
Anyway, throughout this course, we'll be mostly using UiPath Community Edition, although I'll be showing you how to install and configure the Enterprise Edition, which you can get a 60-day free trial. All right, in the next video, we'll go ahead and set up a UiPath Automation Cloud account and install UiPath Studio.